So, game two on Texas. Finn the human and Franskar. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Finn can uh, hold off any sort of early game shenanigans if Franskar goes from this time, or who knows, maybe Finn will do them himself. All right, so in the top right, he's up one to nothing in this best of three. He is Franskar, our Teal Zerg player from Clan Bestest Friends. And the bottom left, you know him, you love him, or maybe you don't love him. He is a bit obnoxious at times. It is Finn the Human, our green Terran player. Get that production tab up and uh, see if these guys are going to go any for anything uh, totally ridiculous. That was probably about as fast as you could possibly get Mutilus out earlier from Franscar. I'd have to actually, you know, double check all that to see how he was spending his gas, but I don't imagine you can get, get Mutilus much faster than getting your Spire while you're still on one base. So, it worked out for him, though. Uh, it was a situation where I think if Finn could have built Marines while he was building Goliaths, he might have been in a better position. But, uh, it didn't happen. So, Franskar going for pool first again. Uh, Finn doing the usual so far, but getting a relatively, uh, eh, pretty normal gas timing, really. Nothing strange there. So... We'll see if this uh, pool first, then gas is going to be anything crazy again from Franskar. So, taking a look at the map, we have once again a high ground, high ground main, uh, with low ground, uh, low ground natural with the choke here. What's interesting though is the uh, the third base here is on the low ground. And you have to go across this ridge right here, which is uh, in Starbow. You do have an advantage attacking from the high ground. Uh, units attacking up high ground a 50% chance to miss on their attacks, at least any range attacks, so this can play a pretty pivotal role in trying to defend uh, your bases. Uh, you really don't want to get an attacking force up in here, because uh, then, you know, your your third base, if you take your third here, is just going to be almost forfeited. There also are some cliffs here, so any cliff jumping units, uh, such as Reapers, can get in there. Then going to get the little scout off. Seeing that uh, those uh, drones continue to mine a lot of gas. So he might suspect something similar, and it looks like we might see something similar. We have, a, once again, a quick layer on one base. So uh, Finn might suspect this, and we'll see if he can hold it this time. He's going to go ahead and get that factory up, and he's getting uh, getting his barracks. going to throw the tech lab down there as well. No, this time we do have Hydralisks, so this could be fast lurkers, since there is a Hydralisk den coming up. Let's get to layer and immediately make lurkers, try to catch Finn off guard before he has detection or when he's out of... Uh, out of energy, but Finn's also going to go ahead and get that engineering bay. Oh, nope. Wants it somewhere else. Fills it over here. So, speed is now on the way for the Zerglings. And yes, immediate Lurker done as soon as that layer finished. With that Nurturing Swarm from the Queen, you can really uh, get your tech up fast as Zerg. You notice this purple animation here over the morphing Lurker Den. Uh, that's the uh, spell from the Queen. I'll read it off to you here real quick. Uh, 25 energy, it allows you to, it works as both transfuse, can restore 75 hit points, or can increase structure morph rate by 50% for 30, by 50% by for 30 seconds. Oh my goodness. So. You guys having problems with the stream quality? Maybe just one of you guys? Might be your internet, not mine. <laughs> so, Lurker Den will be finishing up soon, so will Speed. Uh, Finn is going quickly into the armory so that he can continue to produce Goliaths. He's uh, prepared for those Mutalisks. He's uh, maybe over-preparing for those Mutalisks, and those Mutalisks are not coming. But if he can get a turret up out front, that could help him with any uh, any Lurkers. But he's going to want to be getting uh, tanks, and he's not, because he's he is getting ready for those Mutalisks. And this is not... Uh, while it looks the same, it is not the same. So, be interesting to see if he manages to hold this. Uh, without any of the really the the correct units to do so, although I, I don't I don't really know how Goliaths do against lurkers. Probably not that great. What is Goliath's range? Um, five, which lurker range is much longer than that. Six, maybe not much, but somewhat. So the lurkers are on the ramp. So are the zerglings. Here come the uh, the Goliaths. Does he have any scans? He has no energy for scans. I don't believe he has a lidar transmitter upgrade. No, he doesn't. So 
These uh, lurkers are going to go undetected for a long time. Now, how much is it? 25? 50 for a scanner sweep. Oh man, it's going to be forever before he has energy scans. So, tanks are up. Or one tank, but does not have siege mode. Better now. But at this stage, these, uh. Yeah, this is just going to get wrecked. So. Uh, he's going to chase his around, see if he can't. If he can at least clean up the Zerglings. He might be able to hold on to a few of his buildings. These lurkers aren't focusing on the siege, so they are getting the armory right now. So he wants to take out that tech structure. Uh, is Finn getting siege mode? No, he is not. He's just waiting for that LiDAR, and there's a scan. Can he take out the lurkers in time? He gets one of them. That other one is going to survive. Okay. He does clean up the Zerglings, though. And right now, he does still have a worker lead. So he's not out of this yet. He can uh, get another scan off. His LiDAR is finished, so he should have uh, two charges of scan. He can scan now. Take out this Lurker. Which he will do. And then he needs to get back to mining right away. So a third Lurker does land here, though. So he does get another scan off. So he needs to get these SCVs back to mining. I don't know if he knows... Or not. Okay, and he does lose another tank there, unfortunately. So, get these guys mining, buddy. Oh, and he GG's out. Interesting. Awesome. Oh, some audio issues all of a sudden. So, Franskar will take that match 2-1.